Want to save more money in 2024? Have you considered a saving strategy? In the era of economic uncertainty, having a solid saving strategy is more important than ever. It's not just about putting a few dollars aside every now and then, it requires a well-thought-out plan and a smidgen of discipline. Today we're going to delve into three intriguing strategies that might just help you bulk up your savings account in the coming year. First, we have the 52 Weeks Savings Challenge, a systematic approach that will keep your savings on track throughout the year. Next, we'll explore a rather unconventional method, eating the food in your house. Lastly, we'll discuss the 21-Day Financial Fast, a strategy that challenges you to redefine your relationship with money. Each of these methods brings a unique perspective to the concept of saving, and who knows, one of them might be the perfect fit for you. So, stay tuned to learn more about these three practical strategies to help you save more money in 2024. First up, we have the 52-Week Savings Challenge. This strategy is as straightforward as it sounds, but don't let its simplicity fool you. It's a powerful tool that can help you accumulate a substantial amount of money by the end of the year. Imagine a snowball rolling down a hill, gathering more and more snow as it goes. That's exactly how the 52-Week Savings Challenge works. But instead of snow, we're rolling with dollars. You start off the first week of the year by saving $1. The next week you save $2, then $3 the following week, and so forth. It's a gradual process, increasing by just $1 each week. By the time you reach the last week of the year, you're setting aside $52. Now you might be thinking, that sounds easy enough in the beginning, but what about towards the end of the year when I'm supposed to save $50 a week? Well, that's the beauty of this challenge, it's flexible. If you feel like you can't save the full amount during a particular week, you can adjust accordingly. Remember, the goal is consistency, not perfection. The brilliance of the 52-week savings challenge lies in its gradual increase, allowing you to adjust to the saving habit slowly, but surely. Before you know it, you're saving more than you ever thought possible. It's like a fitness routine for your wallet, strengthening your saving muscles week by week. And let's talk numbers. By following this strategy, you can end up saving a total of $1,378 by the end of the year. That's right, over a grand saved, just by starting with a single dollar and consistently increasing your savings by $1 each week. So whether you're looking to start an emergency fund, save for a vacation, or simply boost your savings, the 52 Weeks Savings Challenge is a feasible and effective strategy. With the 52 Weeks Savings Challenge, you can end up with a hefty sum saved by the end of the year. The second strategy is a simple but effective one. Eat the food in your house. Now this might sound a tad bit too obvious, but you'd be surprised how easily this is overlooked in our quest to save money. What does this strategy entail? Well, it's pretty straightforward. It involves taking stock of the food you already have in your pantry, fridge, or freezer, and planning your meals around these items before you venture out to the grocery store for more. Why is this important, you might ask? Let's break it down. Firstly, it's all about reducing waste. You know those cans of beans that have been sitting at the back of your pantry for months? Or that frozen chicken that's been in your freezer since who knows when? By focusing on eating what you already have, you're ensuring nothing goes to waste. And in a world where food waste is a significant issue, this is a small but impactful step you can take. Secondly, this strategy can help you curb unnecessary spending at the grocery store. Think about it. How many times have you gone shopping for a few items, only to come back with bags full of groceries, many of which you didn't even need? By making a conscious effort to eat what's already in your house, you're not just saving money, but also making more thoughtful and intentional purchasing decisions. And let's not forget the added benefit of discovering new recipes and getting creative in the kitchen. With a bit of ingenuity, those random ingredients can turn into a delicious meal, saving you the cost of dining out. So, the next time you're about to head out for groceries, take a moment to survey what you already have. Plan your meals around these items and only buy what you need to complement them. By eating the food in your house, you can cut down on your grocery bills and save more. And who knows, you might just discover a new favorite dish in the process. Last but not least, we have the 21-Day Financial Fast. Now you might be wondering what on earth a financial fast is. No, it doesn't mean you stop eating for 21 days. Rather, it's a challenge where you refrain from non-essential spending for a period of 21 days. Think of it as going on a diet, but for your wallet. In essence, this strategy is about spending on needs rather than wants. 
This means that for 21 days, you only spend money on absolute necessities like groceries, utility bills, and other essential living expenses. What it doesn't include is spending on things like new clothes, eating out, or that latest gadget you've been eyeing. Now, why 21 days you ask? Well, it's said that it takes about 21 days to form a habit. By practicing mindful spending for this period, you're not just saving money in the short term, you're also developing a healthier relationship with your finances and building habits that can benefit you in the long run. The benefits of this strategy are twofold. First, you'll likely save a significant amount of money. By cutting out non-essential spending, you might be surprised at how much you can accumulate in just three weeks. Second, this practice can help you identify and reassess your spending habits. You might realize you're spending more than necessary on takeout, or that you have a habit of impulse buying when you're stressed. By identifying these patterns, you can make conscious decisions to change your habits moving forward. In conclusion, the 21-day financial fast is a powerful strategy for saving money and improving your financial habits. It's not always easy, but the rewards are worth it. And remember, it's not about depriving yourself. It's about being mindful of your spending, understanding the difference between wants and needs, and making smart financial decisions. The 21-day financial fast can help you save money and improve your financial habits in the long run. Now let's recap the three strategies to save more money in 2024. First off, we dove into the 52-week savings challenge. This is a plan that encourages you to save an increasing amount of money each week for an entire year. You start with a dollar in week one, two dollars in week two, and so on until you're putting away $52 in the last week of the year. This strategy is brilliant in its simplicity yet powerful in its impact. By the end of the year, you'll have accumulated a total of $1,378. What's more, it's a manageable way to build a saving habit, and it can really add up over time. Next, we talked about the strategy of eating the food in your house. It might sound like a no-brainer but it's surprising how much money we waste on food. By planning meals around what you already have in your pantry and freezer, you can drastically cut down on your grocery bills. Not only does this strategy help you save money, but it also reduces food waste and encourages creativity in the kitchen. It's a win-win situation. And finally, we explored the 21-day financial fast. This is a strategy where you refrain from non-essential spending for 21 days. The idea is to break the cycle of mindless spending and to identify areas where you can cut back. It's a bit like a detox for your wallet. The financial fast can help you reset your spending habits, identify your financial weaknesses, and build a healthier relationship with money. Each of these strategies offers unique benefits, and you can choose the one that best suits your needs and lifestyle. The 52-week savings challenge is great for those who want a structured long-term plan. Eating the food in your house is ideal for those who want to make immediate savings and reduce waste. And the 21-day financial fast is perfect for those who want to reset their spending habits and gain a deeper understanding of their relationship with money. Remember, these aren't just one-off strategies. They're about developing new habits and attitudes towards money. Saving isn't just about having more money in your bank account, it's about gaining financial freedom and peace of mind. It's about taking control of your money, rather than letting it control you. These strategies aren't just about the money you'll save in the short term, they're about setting yourself up for a secure financial future. They're about making smart choices now that will pay off in the long run. So, as we move into 2024, I encourage you to try out these strategies and see the difference they can make in your financial life. It's never too late to start saving, and with these strategies, you'll be well on your way to a more financially secure future. Remember, saving money doesn't have to be a chore. With these strategies, you can make saving money a part of your daily life in 2024.